we have two objectives in this section. First, find the area of a region between two curves using integration. Second, find the area of a region between intersecting curves using integration. With a few modifications, you can extend the application of definite integrals from the area of a region under a curve to the area of a region between two curves. Consider two functions f and g that are continuous on the closed interval a b also the graph of both and g the f and g lie above the x axis look at this figure the graph of g lies below the graph of f You can geometrically interpret the area of the region between the graph as the area of the region under the graph of G subtracted from the area of the region under the graph of F. Look at this figure. If you want to get the area between the F and G, So, it is equal to the area of region under F. This is a function F. The area region under F minus the area of region under G. So, in mathematical model, it can be written as integrate the fx minus gx with respect to x from a to b is equal to integrate the fx with respect to x from a to b minus integrate the gx with respect to x from a to b. And in other words, we can say if we want to get the area of the region between the two functions, we take the top function, the area under the top function minus the area of the below function. To verify the reasonableness of the result shown in figure below, you can partition the interval AB into n sub-intervals, each of with delta x. Then sketch a representative rectangle of width delta x and height fxi minus gxi so look at the figure here this is a representative rectangle and the width is delta x and the height of this rectangle is fxi minus gxi for example this point is xxi point and to get the y because y represents the height 
So we need to get the height from this point to the x axis minus the height from this point, where this point is on the g function. So we substitute into the g function, gxi, so we will get the height. And we take the fxi minus gxi, so we will get the height here. So this is a height of rectangle. Area of the region between two curves. If F and G are continuous on closed interval AB and GX is less than or equal to FX for all X in closed interval AB, in other words, we can say that the function F, the curve of the F, is higher than the curve G. Then, the area of the region bounded by the graph of F and G and the interval and the vertical lines X equal to A and X equal to B is given by this formula. Area is equal to integrate the Fx minus Gx with respect to X from A to B. In this figure, the graph of f and g are shown above the x axis. This, however, is not necessary. The same integral fx minus gx can be used as long as f and g are continuous and gx less than or equal to fx for all x in the interval a, B. This is summarized graphically in figure below. Notice that in figure below, the height of a representative rectangle is fx minus gx, regardless of the relative position of the x axis. For the first figure, the area of the region bounded by these two curves actually is at above the x axis and below the x axis. And for the second figure, the area of the region bounded by the f and the g curve is actually totally below the x axis. But we will use the same integral, which is fx minus gx. Because of these two cases are satisfy the condition where the f and g are continuous and the gx is less than or equal to fx. Or we can say the F curve is above the G curve. Representative rectangles are used throughout this chapter 
in various applications of integration. A vertical rectangle of width delta x implies integration with respect to x. There is a horizontal rectangle of width delta y implies integration with respect to y. Find the area of the region bounded by the graph of fx and gx functions and two vertical lines x equal to 0 and x equal to 1. Look at the solution. First, we scale up these two functions. Because based on the graph, We notice that the F curve is on the top. In the interval from 0 to 1. And this bounded region is calculated by using the vertical rectangle where the width is delta x so meaning that we will use the integration techniques to find the area and we integrate with respect to x So, the area of the representative rectangle is delta A equal to fx minus gx because the f curve is on the top times delta x. So now we have x squared plus 2 minus negative x times delta x. And the area of the region is given by this formula. We simplify the integrand and we use the power rule to integrate. And we simplify the answer. So the area of this region is 17 over 6. In the first example, the graph of fx and gx do not intersect and the values of a and b are given explicitly. For second objective, a more common problem involves the area of a region bounded by two intersecting graphs where the values of a and b must be calculated. Look at the second example. Find the area of the region bounded by the graph of fx and gx. 
So the first step, we scale up these two functions. Based on the graph, we notice that the f function is on the top. And there are two points of intersections. And this area of the region bounded can be calculated by using the vertical rectangle. To find the x coordinates of this point, set fx and gx equal to each other and solve for x. We move the x from right side to left side and we obtain general form and we factorize and we obtain the x coordinate. So meaning that the first point of intersection is at x equal to negative 2 and the second point of inter intersection is x equal to 1. So we can say the area of the region bounded by these two graphs is from negative 2 to 1. And this is an interval. And based on our graph, the F curve is on the top. So the representative rectangle has an area of delta A equal to Fx minus Gx times delta X. And the area of the region is We simplify the integral first and we use the power rule. And lastly, we have the area of the region is 9 over 2.